This tutorial will show you how to use circuitdiagram.org web editor to create circuit diagrams or schematics of your Arduino circuits. To start, we're going to come over to the component search and we're going to search for Arduino. We'll select Uno. Now once you've clicked, all you have to do is click onto the board here in order to place the Arduino Uno board. If you'd like to move the board to any different location on the screen, you'll click V. V will be the selector tool and that will allow you to click and drag it to the location that you desire. So if you would like to get out of the selector tool, you can come over to the search. Now the first thing that we want to put in, we're going to build a circuit that uses a photoresistor and an LED, much like we did in the mini project with the night light. And we're going to search for resistor. Now the reason we're searching for resistor and not photoresistor is because unfortunately, given the limitations of circuitdiagram.org, they don't have anything but just a basic resistor. So now we're going to place it just by clicking on the screen. If I want to select it again, I'll press V, I'll click on it, and then what I'm going to do is just augment this resistance and I want to put in, instead, I just want to select text and I want to select photoresistor and click enter. And if I click out of this, then I have my photoresistor right there. If I want to move it, I select V and I can move it up and down like so. All right, so we've placed our photoresistor, and uh, now, in, in addition to the photoresistor, we might remember that we need a 10 kilo ohm resistor as well. So if I go back to my search for a resistor, you'll notice that there's resistor, which looks like this little rectangle, and then there's US resistor. This is the one I want to select. If I click here, just right in line with the photoresistor, it'll place it. Again, if I click V to select it, I can augment this resistance and put in 10,000 ohms. And if I press enter, it'll go to 10 kilo ohms right there. Now, uh, let's just build this part of the circuit and then we can build the other. So the first thing that I want to do is I want, I remember that the photoresistor needs to connect to the five volts. So in order to get a wire, I'm just going to click the W button. I'm going to go from 5 volts. I'm actually going to bring this out a little bit in case I need to use it a little bit later. The 5 volts. I'll come out this way and then I'll just drop right into my photoresistor right there. I'm also then obviously going to connect the photoresistor to the 10 kilo ohm resistor and then I'm going to come back around to the ground. So I'll just make a nice sweeping wire that comes back around to the ground. And deleting wires is as simple as selecting V, clicking on this, and then you would just click delete right there, but that's not what we want to do. Now we're not quite done because remember that we need this to be an analog input for the photoresistor. So we'll select wire again with the W and we'll just go from A0 and drag over to here and you'll see that it creates this junction which shows that now we've dropped a pin into A0, the analog pin. The second part of our circuit requires us to find an LED, which is as simple as just searching LED and dropping it into our circuit. So we'll drop it somewhere here. We can always move it later. And then we want another one of those US resistors. So we'll search for US resistor. We'll drop it in here. I can obviously move it any way I want to. And of course, I'm going to want to change this resistance. Remember, we were using a 220 ohm resistor. I'll press enter and it'll enter that automatically. And then of course, I'll press W and I will connect these things together. When we were completing this exercise in class, we went right from pin D2 to the LED, onto the board, then to the LED, and then we went back to the ground. And if you remember, 
we see that this is from the ground, comes from the ground, and so we can just connect into this wire right here, which means that we've gone from D2 to an LED to a 220 ohm resistor and then back to the ground. And when we're finished with this, we can either take save this and then send the link to our partner if we want them to take a look at it or edit it, or what we can do is just download a PNG.